Hey everybody, we're going to continue to look at Jesus' words, teaching us through the longest message or talk that he ever did. And we came to the section where he talks about storing up things in heaven or on earth, that we do one or the other. We sort of could do both, but in the end, we're going to really prioritize one over the other. It's like two things that could potentially be in conflict. I mean, think with me for a second. Uh, if you had two friends, but those friends didn't get along and those friends were very different and very opposite, at some point you're going to really have to make a choice which friend you're going to choose to spend more time with. You're going to end up with one or the other. If you had two jobs, let's say, but the schedules just didn't work together for you to do both, in the end you're just going to have to choose one or the other. Or let's even say uh, you dated multiple people at the same time, which I don't recommend, but if you did, at some point you're going to have to choose one or the other or the other because there's just going to be a conflict. There's going to be things that you have to end up choosing because they're in conflict with each other. This is actually the second video I made because I was also doing laundry at the same time and my timer went off in the middle of the last video because it just can't work together. I tried to squeeze it in before the time was done and I just didn't do it. And the timer beat me and the timer won. You, sometimes you just can't do multiple things at the same time. In life, we can't choose God and choose everything else. In the end, there's going to be a conflict and we're going to have to prioritize one over the other. And when Jesus talks about this in Matthew chapter 6, he puts it this way in verse 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one or you'll, and you'll love the other, or you will be devoted to one and you'll despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. So keep in mind, this is in the context of storing up treasures in heaven versus storing up treasures on earth. And wherever our treasures are, the things that we treasure, that's where our heart will be. So whatever it is you treasure, you like those things. You will work for those things. You'll try to achieve those things because that's what you value, because that's what, what we treasure. And because of that, that's where our heart will be. If you don't treasure relationships, you probably don't have many relationships, but you're okay with that because that's not a high value for you. If you don't treasure vacations and traveling, you probably never travel or very rarely travel. And that's okay because that's not what you treasure. And because you don't treasure that, that's not where your heart is. But the things that we treasure is where our heart will be. So if we treasure God, that's where our heart will be. But if we treasure other things more than God, then actually our heart will not be with God, even though we might say we believe in God, because there will be a conflict. There, you can't serve two masters is what Jesus is saying. You can't have a divided loyalty. At some point, working two jobs where the schedule overlaps just won't work and you have to choose one over the other because there'll be a conflict. At some point, if you had multiple friends that were extreme opposites and you just didn't have enough time to spend with both of the friendships, you're going to have to choose because there will be a conflict that at some point, if you're dating multiple people at the same time, there definitely will be conflict and you'll have to choose. I mean, one example I see a lot is when you have a job and you're working and everything's going well, you like the job, it becomes your source of income, uh, but then all of a sudden your schedule changes because it's out of your control. And now you're working on the weekends and so you quit going to church. And typically in that context, in that situation, people will say, I can't make it to church, I gotta work. But at the same time, do we really have to stick with that job? Not saying you should leave that job or you shouldn't leave that job, but there's still a choice, right? We don't have to default to the job just because it's our job. But in many cases, what people will do is say, I can't go to church anymore on Sunday because I'm working. Well, you could if you quit your job or if you asked for a change of schedule and if they maybe change it, then you could. But if they didn't, you could quit. We always have a choice in every situation, but we can't have both. So they're actually in conflict with one another. And what God is trying to help us see is that you still do have a choice. You have a choice to put God before everything else, but as soon as you don't, then God isn't really a part of our life like he intended. You can't have 
both. We can't have a divided loyalty. I mean, really, when God called people at times, he made it clear, too, that life uh, could be hard. And there is an aspect of suffering. When Paul, uh, who was initially called Saul in the Bible, was called to follow God and to serve God, you know, Jesus said, I'll show him how much he must suffer for my name. So there is an aspect where, where following God at times will be hard. Right, It will not be easy. It wouldn't be easy to have a job and have that as your source of income and then in the end say, I really value being in community and my community meets and gathers on Sunday mornings and that's when they schedule me to work. So I'm going to trust God and I'm going to leave that job so I can still gather in community. That would be hard. But that isn't outside of the realm of possibility for following God. When we have relationships, leaving one will be hard. It's not easy, right? So when we follow God, it doesn't mean that life always gets easier, but it does mean that life always gets better because we always have a choice. And Jesus knew that if we value things of this world, we couldn't fully value him like we need to, that we would end up with a divided loyalty. And when you are serving two masters, when your heart is divided, at some point, one of those sides will lose and we will have to choose. So I want you to do right now is just pause, just think for a moment, just stop what you're doing, just take a breath and think about school or think about work, think about relationships. Ask yourself, what are the things that you're really working for? Why are you striving so hard at the things that you're doing? Uh, is it to save up for something? Is it to save up to buy a house? Is it to save up to pay off college? Is it to save up to buy the next cool car? Is it saving up vacation time to take your dream vacation? Uh, what are the things that we're working so hard doing that we're willing to spend hours upon hours to do these things because we're working towards something? Because in every way that we work towards something here, we can work towards a deeper relationship with God. We can work towards serving God. And that's what Jesus meant. Are we storing up things for our lives here on earth? Or are we really storing up treasures in heaven? What are the things that we're working for? Is it a relationship with God and serving God? Because if it's not, it's something else. And those two things are in conflict with each other. And at some point, we'll have to choose. And Jesus always said, the choice is yours. Right? The choice is yours. But he encouraged us to choose today who we will serve. Because we can't serve both. Uh, but one will always be better. And he knew that. But because he loved us, he also gives us a choice. And hopefully, we don't have to go down a, a path in life that ends up being a dead end before we realize we should have backtracked and should have chosen Jesus a long time ago. So I hope if that's you, this is a moment where you could pause and reorient the values and priorities in your life and choose Jesus and let him be the priority who leads you down the paths of life. God bless.